there welcome to another painting tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to paint this bat and we're going to start with some watercolor and then we'll go on top of it with some acrylic so i linked this sketch in the description if you want to click on that and print it out and sketch it out and then paint along with me so we're going to do a wet on wet watercolor technique to start with I'm going to take this size 8 round brush and I'm going to just start by getting the wings of the bat wet. And you don't want to apply too much water, just a nice moist layer. And you can kind of, if you tilt your paper, you can kind of see if it's um, wet and kind of shiny and that'll let you know if the paper is still wet and kind of helps you to see how much water you have on your paper. And how much water you have really depends on the types of blooms that you get and the quality of your paint and what kind of texture and, and effect you're gonna get. Okay, so I have a nice base layer down and I want the wings to look transparent and I want them to look kind of purplish. So I have this purple color. So I'm gonna kind of activate the paint just by getting it wet. I'm gonna put it on this palette here. And then this purple, it's a little too bright and intense for my liking. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this Payne's Gray, which is like a bluish gray color. I'm gonna mix that in with the purple and that's just gonna give me more of a subdued violet color. And then I'm gonna put that in along the wings of the bat. So you can see that it's the paper's wet and we're getting kind of different blooms here. And that's kind of what we want. Just gonna go along that water, the wet part of the bat. I'm kind of making almost like going along with the veins or the little bones that are in the wing of the bat. If you have any drip drippings, that's okay too. It'll give you kind of a neat effect. And I see this side's a little bit darker than the other. So I'm going to grab a little bit more of that purple and then a little bit of Payne's Gray. See if I can mix that same color. It's one of the tricky things with watercolor and mixing paint is trying to get the same values and the same colors to mix more than once. So that can be a little bit of a challenge. So I have a little bit too much water going on here. If you get too much water, you can lift it up with your brush like this. You could also get like a tissue and kind of dab up, pick up some of that color as well. So I just kind of want to streak that around. Okay, I think that looks nice. And now I'm going to get a little tiny bit of this quinacridone rose and a little bit of water. And I just want that to be a really, really light pink. And I'm just gonna put in that light pink for the ears inside of the ears for this little guy and I might do his nose as well kind of pink and I'll probably paint over that but just add a little color that's like an underpainting here okay and then let's take some brown I have a burnt umber here and I want that to be fairly cool. It looks like my red is kind of mixing in, which I don't really want. So maybe if I mix it more with the purple, it'll cool it down a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some of that brown paint just along the top there. Just so it kind of blends in with the wings. Okay. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna let this dry completely. And then when we come back, we'll do a layer of acrylic paint. Okay, so now that the watercolor layer has dried, let's add on some acrylic. And let's start with a size zero spotter. And we're gonna take a black or Payne's gray. And let's carefully put in the eyes. Just want nice little circles, trying to keep them even on both sides, trying to keep them the same shape. And then let's put in the black of the mouth. I'm gonna use that point of the brush to give me a nice point here where the side of the mouth is. Then I'm looking at my sketch and my shapes, kind of seeing it's like a diamond shape almost. And it comes down this way and I wanna put some little fangs in there. So I'm just gonna carefully go over that. Okay, so I'm gonna come up this way a little bit more and just kind of bring this side up. Okay, so then I'm gonna let that dry and let's start putting in some of the body features. I'm gonna use this chisel brush. This is a size six chisel blender brush and I wanna use a dark brown color so I'm gonna take this raw umber and let's put in Let's just kind of put this in as some of the darker values. This brush is good because you can use it on its side to get some line shapes. So for the legs, the legs I'm gonna put, use the side of the brush and just put kind of like a little impression that he has a leg there. It's not gonna be too detailed, it's just gonna be in shadow. And I want to go underneath the neck area. These brushes are good too for painting animals because they can kind of give the illusion of fur. So we'll just paint him in. You can kind of see the brush strokes almost look like fur. And then we can try to go on the side of the brush and put in some of these kind of veins where the bones are showing up in the wings. And if you need a little more paint, just grab a little bit of water. Some of my paint here needs to be switched out. It's getting kind of clumpy. I use the Stay Wet palette. So let's just put these in. And then we'll go to this side. And there's one here, and then there's another bone here. And then I think I need a little more control for the face. So let's try, I have a smaller chisel brush, a size two. Let's see how that goes. I'm gonna get more of this brown color. I'm gonna use the edge of the brush and see if I can paint in the ears very carefully. Okay, and then for the face, he's a little bit darker. Let's see, um, I don't wanna lose this part of the shadow. So let's put maybe a little bit of this on the side and then right in the center of the face, it's a little bit of a shadow, kind of as the hair comes down on top of the nose. 
Okay, and now we want to make a lighter value. So let's take some titanium white and mix some of that raw umber brown. See if I can get a lighter brown. And then kind of put in, put that in for the face around the eyes very carefully. And it's going to blend with that darker value that we put down, but that's okay. That's going to make it darker and that's kind of a good effect that we want, kind of blending the colors on the page as we go. Just carefully going around and um, the black probably should have dried all the way before you do this step. Okay, we want the color underneath the chin to be pretty dark. That's our shadow. And then we want the stomach area to be a little bit lighter. So let's take some white and maybe mix it with a little bit of burnt sienna and see if we can kind of put that in as kind of a lighter value on the belly. And I'm going to put some on the head. Try to blend a little bit. Okay, it's all right to just kind of blend some of these colors. This sketch, he's kind of small, so it's a little bit tricky. Okay, and I want to get around the eyes a little bit more. Just carefully go around those eyes, just kind of dabbing the brush. Just blend out a little bit. And then I'm going to get a little bit closer to the mouth. Okay, so the nose shape. Um, we want a lighter value for that, so let's see if we could take a little bit of burnt sienna with some white, mix that together, and see if that can give us kind of a color, light color for the nose. So I'm going to turn my brush and just kind of, it's kind of like two upside down raindrops almost for the nose shape. Okay. And I want to put in, for the eyes, I want to put in a little bit of a brown. So I'm going to use that same color. See if I can put a little bit of a highlight in there for the eye with this brown. Just a little point of detail. Okay, I want to do another layer of the bone structure. So I'm going to take a lighter brown. So we'll take some of this Van Dyke brown with some titanium white. And then try to put another layer over these wings. Just because I see some kind of skipping and some white marks showing through from the paper, which we don't want. And you could kind of go along the edges along the bottom as well. Just using that side of the brush. Just kind of connecting things. Okay. Now we have pretty much our base layer. I'm just going to go around and try to clean things up a little bit.
trying to refine some things. Maybe do some second layers. Make sure all the little white areas are covered up. Okay, and I'm kind of blending as well with the wings. Okay. So that looks good. I want to try to go back in to the nose area. I'm going to take some white with a little bit of brown. And because we kind of lost that nose, let's see if we can put it back in. Maybe if we did some white and then we could kind of glaze over it. It's kind of a trick that you can do if you lose something. You can try to use some white to bring it back. And while we're here with the white, let's put a tiny little spot in the eye for the highlight. Okay, and then see if we could put two little fangs on here. Just gonna get some right here. Okay. <laughs> So we can let that dry and then put another layer of brown around it. You might want to do, you could add another layer of brown over the eyes for the eyelids. Okay, and then let's take this size two flat brush. I want to take a darker value of this, just a darker value and bring back the shape of the face here. I might take a little bit of black just to push that a little bit darker. Just to bring back the shape of his little face. Then I might take some of this black and put that down here just to add a little bit more of a shadow. And over here, it's a little bit darker as well. Just kind of bring that in. Okay, and then take some more of the brown and I'm just going to kind of feather it down here. And then I'm just going to kind of take the side of the brush and do these nice sweeping shapes to kind of get more like vein type of shapes in the wings. Okay, so now I'm going to try to take a light brown, see if we can put that over the nose. Let's see if that'll let us kind of get that nose shape back. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to the black and go over that smile again. Just kind of bring that back. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little bit of the white back for his teeth, his little fangs. Then 
kind of put another, put the highlight back in there a little bit more. And I might take a little bit of white and a little bit of the brown and maybe emphasize his chin a little bit. So just take that lighter color, light brown with some white. And just bring back that chin shape. And then he's got a little bit of a lighter value on his face up here. Just kind of letting this blend on the paper a little bit. And under the eyes, He's got a lighter value there. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend, blend that in. Okay, so we're gonna call that done. He's a little bit tricky because it's pretty small and there's a lot of detail here. But I'm going to call that done. You can keep working on yours, kind of clean up some of your edges, and you can experiment with different colors. You could try a pink instead of a purple in the background, but just have fun, enjoy the process, and I hope you give this project a try. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!